Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. In this video, I'm going to share some tips for career building for early career PhD students. Often when we see PhD students working in their project, they're very narrow focused on their PhD topic and three, four papers that they have to do and the introductory part they have to do in three or four years, something like that. But only focusing too much on these three, four papers will not really help you for a academic career later on after you finish your PhD, okay? So there are a few things that you have to take into consideration. Okay, first of all, you know, you might be working on a very narrow topic. Let's say, for example, digital twin in shipping. Your PhD might be about something about digital twin in shipping, okay? But then when you are going to apply for academic position, it is very unlikely that there will be a position on digital tipping, associate professor of digital shipping, or digital twins and shipping, or assistant professor of digital twins and shipping. So it is very unlikely that there will be a dedicated position only to that topic. It could be that associate professor of marine engineering or assistant professor of marine engineering or cybernetics, something like that. So if you focus on only a very narrow topic, you might not qualify for those assistant professor or associate professor positions after you finish your PhD. So you have to actually read about surrounding topics, you know, and themes, and maybe do some research on also relevant other slightly broader topics and so on, one or two papers during your PhD on those topics to help you really prepare for applications when you finish uh, your PhD position, okay? So that's number one. The second thing is that you also need to kind of brand your research or like uh, increase outreach of your research. You have to be well known or somewhat known, okay? So to do that, the best, best thing you can do is you can attend conferences where really relevant professors and top professors in your field goes and presents their work. So you go to those conferences as well and present your work, network with people who might be your future employers, okay? Number three is that you supervise one or two students, okay? Often you will see most of the faculty positions, they will have this requirement that you have some supervision experience. So when you're doing a PhD, you can still supervise one or two master students or bachelor students, maybe alone or together with your supervisor. You know, you can be the co-supervisor there. And this also helps, you know, you can write in your CV that you have some supervision experience. Also, most of the academic position nowadays, they also ask for teaching experience and pedagogy experience, okay? So it's a very good idea to do one pedagogy course during your PhD period, and also maybe give some lectures together with your supervisor in your supervisor's courses, or if the university allows you to do a full course on a bachelor or master level. In this case, I will do, recommend you to do the teaching in the later period of your PhD. So not in the first year, but maybe on the third year or fourth year of your PhD. So don't get into the teaching thing uh, in the first years and second years, because you know you need to. It, it's good if you make some progress in the PhD first and then go into teaching, you will be less stressed, okay? And then, Another tip is that you try to get involved in some funding applications. You know, there are a lot of small funding applications for attending a conference, for organizing an event and this and that. So with your supervisor, maybe you can get involved in one or two small applications, you know, or, or maybe a big one where your supervisor is leading the application. You work as a, you know, participant in the project and do some help to your supervisor and so on. So this way you'll get some organization and management skills as well, you know. So those are also required often uh, in, in, in many of the faculty positions when you apply for them, right? Also, you might help your university or department in organizing some small seminars and events, you know, which also contributes to administrative and, and uh, project related uh, experiences. So don't just focus on writing only these three, four papers, you know, try to do a little bit more uh, around the project and, uh, you know, look into the requirements, you know, read in, in the early part of your PhD, read the requirements for assistant professor and associate professor positions out there and try to address those 
over long term, these three, four years of PhD period, try to address those, okay? I know it's uh, challenging to do three, four papers already and doing all these things could be also a bit more challenging. But if you were really structured and if you have a good, uh, you know, plan and you coordinate well with your supervisor, most likely this you can easily manage, okay? So good luck with your PhD work. I hope uh, this helps you in uh, building your career and uh, making progress in your academic career. Good luck.